Hi, thank you for tuning in today. My name is Caroline, and today I'll show you how to make this fleece no sew pet bed. It makes a great gift for your local animal shelter or for your pet at home. The materials you'll need for this project are you will need your fleece. I'm going to use this beautiful brown paw print fleece and then I'm, I have another piece of fleece underneath it. So you just need two squares of fleece. You can use the same on both sides or two different ones. Additionally, you'll, you'll need scissors and a ruler. Now if you're just making one, then you just want to get out some chalk so that you can mark your fabric. If you're making many of these, then I recommend making a template out of some wrapping paper and pins and a marker. And I'll show you how to do that in this video. Now I will show you how to make a template for a pet bed. This assumes you're going to make more than one. So I'm going to make a pet bed that's about approximately 12 by 12, one foot by one foot. And to do that, I'm going to add six inches, three inches to each side, and that equals 18 inches. So I'm going to make a square with my, I'm going to draw out a square with this wrapping paper and then cut it out. And that way I can, I can make squares are 18 by 18 and make this bed over and over again. I am now cutting out my template. And as you can see, I'm showing you all the dimensions of what we'll be doing later on in this project. My overall, I'm cutting 18 inches, and then I'll cut three inches of fringe on all four sides, and this will make a 12 by 12 bed. So you only have to make this template once, and then you can reuse it over and over again so you don't have to measure out your fabric each time. My next step is to layer my fabric. I want to show my good sides out and I want to lay my fabric right on top of each other and I want to cut out both squares, 18 by 18 inch squares, at the same time. This, this saves me a step from having to cut twice and also ensures that I'll have two squares exactly the same size. So I've layered on my good sides out fabric on top of each other and then next step I will take my template I made in my previous step and pin it down and then cut around it. Now here you see me pinning down my template I made in the previous step. And if you are only making one, then I recommend not making a template and just measuring out 18 by 18 inches or whatever size you're going to make your bed directly on the fabric and then cutting out the fabric directly. I have my template pinned down now and I will start cutting. All right, in this step, I'm going to start cutting right around my template. This is the easy part. This project get, gets easier and easier as it goes on. And then I'll unpin my template from the fabric and then remove the template. Now that I've removed my template, I still have both pieces of fabric right on top of each other. Now I'll lay down my ruler three inches above the edge of the fabric and as you can see, if you look at the template, what, I've, what the border is, the fringe will be cut at three inches. Now we won't use these corners, so I'll, first I'll cut three inches over and I'm going to cut out these corners. So I've laid my ruler three inches from the edge of the fabric, then I count over three inches, one, two, three, and then I'll make my first cut three inches from the edge. Now I'll do the same thing on this side, one, two, three, three inches. And then I'll cut my fringe one inch so that's the first side done let's move to the second side so once again I lay down my fabric three inches from the edge and then I cut three inches from the edge, one, two, three. And as you can see, this uh, corner will come undone 
and uh, this will be discarded or you can use it for another project but for this project we won't need we won't need this so I'll set that aside then I'll cut another three inches One, two, three. And then I'll cut my one inch increment fringe. This is so easy because on my ruler I can see one inch increments and then I just cut right along the line. Second side done. We're going to continue doing this on the other two sides. Now that we have finished cutting, comes the fun and easy part of this project. We will just tie the fringe into little knots. So I'll, go, I'll do this all the way around. Now when you get to almost the end you can put stuffing in this bed now the shelter I am making this bed for prefers not to have stuffing in their pet beds so I am not going to add stuffing for this demo but right here you could add your stuffing and then finish tying off and you would have a pet bed with stuffing. But I'm not going to do that for this demo, but you are free to do that at home. And here is our finished pet bed. Thank you for watching. My name is Caroline Dunn.